Well, whether watching the big game or having teammates over to celebrate a win, here with bourbon cola tailgate ribs and taco in a bag is Chef Matt Dean Pettit. Yes! How are you? Yes! How are you? I am so good. All right. Because you brought ribs. And you brought taco. I don't care what the taco's in, but right? the fact that it's in a bag is That's making it. me really, nice really happy easy. right now. Compactable, ready to go, game day foods. Yes. Okay, so ribs. We know ribs are a classic, yep. um, but we also know that you're Chef Matt, and so you take everything to, like, the next level. You got to take the next level, right? You got to make things a little fun, got a little yeah. spice it up a bit. So we're going to do our barbecue-based uh, beer sauce. Do you like homemade barbecue-based beer sauce? 100%. If Who we doesn't? If we could say that three times in a row, that would be great. <laughs> but I don't think we can. That's a tough one. So as you can see, we've got... Beautiful, beautiful baby back ribs. Yeah. So, you know, ribs can come in many different ways. We've got our ribs here that we're going to prep okay. and go through. We've got our ribs that have just come out of the oven. Nice. We can do them in the barbecue. Again, it can be cold depending on where you are in the world right now. Totally. Could be could be hot. I pray hopefully you're in a hot spot. Uh, nice. You can do them on the barbecue. Alternatively, you can do them in the oven. We'll talk to that. Okay. Again, to your point, thanks for giving me some love in the props. You can't just put ribs out. you got to hit it with a little orange zest and some crushed pistachio and some bit of texture and, and flavors. And that's different, though. Like, people People don't think citrus when they think ribs yeah. or, you know, having that nice crunch with the pistachios, but I love it. And to me, it all comes down to the sauce, though. Absolutely. Right? It's so the all fact sauce. that it's all sauce, because yep. everybody can take ribs. You can buy ribs and you can pre prepare ribs, but it's about the sauce. It is about the sauce. So, so you're starting with ketchup? This sauce, you, you know exactly what you're doing here. Come <laughs> well, on. You know. And you say you don't cook. So <laughs> I really are, don't. This is a ketchup-based sauce. So this is a okay. few simple ingredients. It looks pretty with all the stuff we do have out. Let's just turn this on a little bit. We'll get that going. Seven, you thank go. you. I'm going to get you to do just a slow little whisk on that. You got it. So as mentioned, we're going to put in our beer. So you've got about a cup and a half of uh, ketchup. Yep. You've got a half a beer going in. You can pick anything. This is a, a lager. If you want something with a bit of a darker color, of course, you can do a stout. So it doesn't really matter? No, you know what? It de depends on what kind of flavor profile you want. Okay. I'm going to put in some, some heat and sweet here. So yeah. I don't want the beer to overpower mine. Got if it. a stout's going to be in there, it's going to be dark and thick and sort of rich and caramelly. Yeah. Uh, I want it to be. Are you okay with heat? Um, yeah. Okay, we're going all the way in. Everybody in the pool. Put it in put there. Put it in. Put it in. That's a lot. That's a lot of. Uh, what is it? That is a lot of chili. Uh, ancho chili powder oh, in that wow. one. Oh, wow. Really okay. quite nice. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. Uh, smoked paprika going nice. in. Garlic powder. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to maybe turn that up just a wee bit. You got it. We're going to go brown sugar. So you've got your heat and sweet. Thank yep. you. So brown sugar going in. That's a great element. Well, I love the sweetness. Right? You want a little bit of sweet with all you that do. heat. Apple cider vinegar. Nice. Cut through. Thank you. Yeah. going to cut through some of that heat there. And we're going to go some molasses, too. Oh, so. nice. Now, when it comes to the heat, do you want it to, like, are you the sort of guy that wants to be sweating with snot coming out of your nose while no, you're eating just, the ribs? Just it's like sweating just on TV. So just hot. Sweating just on TV. So you don't yeah. want it like that super duper hot, No, right? I don't. For me, I like to be able to taste my food. Me too. I want to be able to, you know, get all the flavors, and yeah. I want to be able to pick up different things. But you still want balance. You do. So for somebody that wants to have some kind of heat, yeah. uh, my only words of wisdom is have balance, right? Yeah. Sort of like we're going here. You want textures and different things when you finalize. So... We let that just reduce. Just going to incorporate. Thank you for whisking, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Great job. So we're just going to bring that through. We've got our ribs. So what we've done, I'm just going to show you. So when you pull out your baby back ribs, there's a bit of a, a, a white film at the back called yeah. a membrane. Yeah. You can either take that off. You can throw a, skin, uh, a knife underneath with paper towel and just pull that back. Personally, I like to keep it on. Okay. It keeps the meat a little more intact and tender yeah. uh, and keeps everything in one place. So I want to keep that on. We're going to pop these in the oven. As you can see, these are something that have just come out. But I want to yes. make sure that we've got our ribs... I want to sauce them first. So there's an old way of thinking that you either sauce first or sauce after. I like to do a bit of both. Okay. So Before we'll turn that off. Good. You Before, make sure you have that flavor. Right. So we'll do this a little bit of both. This is just getting nice and warm. Do you have a little spoon over there you can pass me? I do. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. So okay. you put the sauce onto the ribs. I'm going to put the sauce on the ribs now. Okay. And then we would put these in the oven. So yeah. you can do it on the barbecue as mentioned. Yeah. Depending on where you are in the world. Uh, might be a bit crazy if it's freezing outside. Well, you know, depending on where you are in the world, you might be the sort of person that barbecues no matter what the temperature is. That might be me. We all know, that we might all be know me. those people that's in right. our lives, that is right? Me. So maybe that's the way you want to do it. I know some people really do love the barbecue just because you get that specific flavor, but don't feel like you have to do it outside. So if you are going to do that in the barbecue, you're going to put those down. Put the yeah. barbecue, you know, roaring nice and hot. You want to have those down for about probably two and a half, three hours. Yes. And you want to flip Ooh, them. Okay. Flip them every 20 minutes and All keep right. saucing. As you can see, there's a lot of sauce here. Totally. So the ribs are going to come out. You'd have them as such. Yeah. 
Uh, alternatively, you want to at the end you want to cut them, sauce them again, and then this is your final. Because I want to get to the taco in a bag. So that looks amazing. Hit them with a little pistachio, and again, a little more citrus over here. CityLine.tv for that recipe, okay. and we're going to move over Moving to this right one now along. because I want to know what we all know what goes into a taco. You've got the beef, you've got the beans, you've got some guac going on, some avocado. But what's different about the way you've done it? So again, you can do this in any platter. You can do different things, but I like to make things sort of sharing, caring, yeah. do-it-yourself sort of style. Yeah. Also, too, with this going on, sort of like the rib recipe, once it's in the oven or in the barbecue, yeah. you have more time for, like, drinking wine, chilling, game day, yes. put your feet up, hang with your friends. Yeah. That's what game day to me is about. So make life easy. Work ahead, put everything in front. Yeah. You know, put and let your guests do the taco bar. That's I like that. Right? So if, I mean, you've done all the prep, and then everyone else can do the, uh, or your the kids building can do or the, the assembly. Your kids can do the prep yes, they and can. let them chill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you can relax. So we're going to go. What I've done is I've taken ancho chilies, which is like a sweet, smoky oh, that's what that chili. Was. I've soaked that for about 10 minutes just to bring the, the moisture back out of it yeah. in a food processor. And I did this all off camera just to save some time. Yeah. Food processor, a little bit of uh, olive oil, and put that right in with some onion. Okay. Our beef's going to go in. That's going to be the great, that's the base of our flavor right there. After you do the beef? Yep. Are so you separating that and then putting gonna, that in its own place and then you just build? You got it. So we can do that together. So beef's going down. Okay. I'm going to do a little sauce. I've done a little crema. We can go right on the hero if you'd like. Nice. So sour cream, cilantro, and uh, uh, lime, pardon me. So that's oh just going to hit up here. Good. You know, and we can throw our taco stuff here. And the bag part, guys, is this is actually a chip bag. It is a chip so bag. It's in, so you, you just bust it open, the corn chip bag. That's it. Bust you it use open. You the corn chip for the nachos, and you threw everything Everything's into going there. in. Everything, it's literally the kitchen sink. Love As it. As you can see, if you don't want to do one big platter, you can do the small little ones here. These are which cute. Which I'm doing, right? You can put them little individuals. This way you don't have to share. If you can find little chip bags that you want to do, too, for people. Go ahead. Yeah. Tomato, sour cream, you know, all that good stuff. You're going to cook your meat, you know, just like you would any ground beef. So you want to get that down and cooking, Very you know, nice. and just bring the heat up. But again, simple, easy. Game day treats. And it's all about making it a little bit different than the norm. Cityline.tv for these recipes. Chef Matt, you're awesome. Thank as you. As always. Woo!